everybody, welcome back to the Graveyard Traveler. I'm Troy E. McCormick, your host. Today we're in Hebron, Kentucky at the Hebron Lutheran Cemetery. And I'm going to take a tour around, pay my respects to those who are buried here, and see the beautiful headstones and beautiful graves that are adorned in the cemetery. So join me. And let's go pay our respects, shall we? Uh, it says... Kottmeyer, uh, Charles Kottmeyer, born June 19th, it's like 1836, he passed away on October 12th, 1919, and Jonathan, or Jonah, born November 14th, 1838, passed away on February 25th, 1909, born in Germany. So they were all born in Germany, and what's that? What's that? Oh, seashells. <laughs> Three seashells. It's a very unique headstone. I like a headstone. Oh, Elizabeth Hazel May Vines, born October 20th, 1907. Passed away October 28th, 1996. Beautiful wedging of the tree with sunrise or sunset. And I guess that used to be a picture. Over time, it wears out. 1996. Take this. Look at this monument. It says Ernest, but that's just a family headstone or headstone monument. Right here is the father, Edward H. Ernest, 1879 to 1939. Uh, mother, Bessie L. Ernest, 1882 to 1958. And as we go up. Another mother, Helen, 1904 to 1970. Father Raymond, C. Ernest, 1904 to 1980. So I guess on that side is the grandparents. Here's the parents. So where are all the kids at? Anyway, it looks interesting. I thought I'd film it. You can tell looking at it. It's a pretty big monument. This is a crypt or storage. Uh, I don't see anything in there. Uh, maybe it's just for storage. No? I don't know. It's a mystery. Mystery crypt, that's what I'll call this. Next monument, this big obelisk stands right here. This is in memory of Johnson W. Graves, died November 19, 1894, aged 81 years, 8 months, and 23 days. Below him, in memory of Loretta, Loretta, is that Loretta, oh, Lucy Retta, wife of Johnson W. Graves, died March 25, 1887, aged 75 years, 2 months, and 12 days and that's a one big headstone slash monument next stop husband John L. Kilgore 1912 to 1982 chief of Hebron volunteer fire department I'll have to look up this picture on find it great. This is the resting place of Gary Ray Suno, December 20th, 1957 to December 10th, 2001. He was a loving papa, father, brother, and son. Rest in peace. This is the resting place of Rochelle Dawn Dixon. Born May 4th, 2004. Unfortunately, she passed away on June 24th, that same year, 2004. It's inscribed here, it says, Our little girl. Rest in peace, Rachel. Uh, 
This is the Barlow Headstone. Son, Edward A. Born 1947. Passed away in 1969. He was a Vietnam vet. And these are all the Bronze Star, the Silver Star, and the Purple Heart that he earned. Next to him is Grandma May S. Grimsley, 1889 to 1962. Dad, Buckley A., 1907 to 1987. And his mom, Louise, 1922 to 2001. This is the grave of Tyler David Wolf. Born March 21st, 1996. He passed away on July 20th, July 4th, 2020. He was a loving son, grandson, and brother. May you rest in peace. This is the grave side of William J. Tino. He was born January 15th, 1926. Passed away October 18th, 2019. Inscribed here. It's a PFC in the U.S. Army during World War II. Served our country. In the middle, it says, Take my hand, precious Lord. His wife Shirley is still with us, so I'm not going to film her name, but we're going to go over. And look at this poem. It says, I'm free. Don't grieve for me, for now I'm free. I'm following the path God laid for me. I took his hand when I heard him call. I turned my back and left it all. I could not stay another day to laugh, to love, to work or play. Tasks left undone must stay that way. I found that place at the clouds of day. And my parting has left a void to fill it with remembered joy. A friendship shared, a laugh, a kiss, Ah yes, these things I too will miss. Be not burdened with times of sorrow. I wish you the sunshine of tomorrow. My life's been full. I savored much. Good friends, good times, a loved one's touch. Perhaps my time seemed all too brief. Don't lengthen it now with undue grief. Lift up your heart and share with me. God wanted me now. He set me free. This is the resting place of our loving mother, Juanita Spence. Born July 14th, 1929. She passed away December 7th, 2009. And on top of her headstone. So sitting on watching over her. Making sure she rests in peace. This is the resting place of Donnie M. Merman. He's a beloved Danny, a beloved Donnie. Born April 29th, 1980. Passed away November 5th, 2000. The ATV right here, it's system and the rock on top the reeds a tear could build a stairway and memories a lane I'd walk right up to heaven and bring you home again this is the resting place of Ronald W. Atkins 1945 to 2022. His wife, Darla, is still here with us. And as I pass over top of the headstone, look at this poem behind me. On it, it says, When through the woods and forest glades I wander, and hear the birds sing sweetly at the, in the trees. When I look down from a lofty mountain gravure, and hear the brook and feel the gentle breeze. Then sings my soul, my Savior God, to thee. How great thou art, how great thou art. When Christ shall come without a shout of acclamation. Take me home, what joy shall fill my heart. 
Then shall I bow in humble adoration. There proclaim, my God, how great thou art. And sings my soul, my Savior God, to thee. How great thou art, how great thou art. The resting place of Lance Corporal Stanley R. Spence, U.S. Marine Corps, Vietnam. Born July 8, 1947, he passed away on July 11, 2017, and he is a Purple Heart Colonel. And like every Marine's grave I come to, I bestow him. this American flag and I will say Semper Fi and rest in peace rest in peace Lance Corporal Spence well, this is the final resting place for Ernest Hill he was a devoted father born July 9 1909 he passed away on January 17 2003 lying next to him is his love loving the loving mother, Lois, see, May 1st, 1916, recently passed away in June 25th, 2012. She's got a heart above her name, and he's got a cross. To them, I say rest in peace to both Ernest and Lois Hill. Truly a unique headstone in the shape of an arrowhead. And this arrowhead tombstone belongs to Don Wayne. Herbert, May 5th, 1959 to December 18th, 2020. And I tell you, that is one unique headstone. And it's a very beautiful headstone, actually. And on the back. Yeah, I'm not going to mention that, but I will mention Dawn. As long as God makes the mighty eagles fly, as long as the river keeps flowing by, as long as deer roam under skies of blue, that is how long we will love you. And I say rest in peace to dawn. This is the headstone of Michael Curtis Harris. He was born January 2nd, 1969, passed away on February 12, 13th, 1990. And on the back of his headstone, it says Harris. Rest in peace, Harris. This is the resting place of James Allen Harris, they call him Jimmy. November 1st, 1967 to January 6th, 2015. May you rest in peace. This headstone belongs to a couple. The Klausingers. On my right is Joseph W. Jr. Born November 28th, 1942. He passed away on May 30th, 2016. And to his one side Sharon, his wife, October 16th, 1946 to April 17th, 2009. And they were both married or wed on April 19th, 1973, two days after I was born. On the back of the headstone. Nothing could say. But they're still a remarkable couple. Oh, the grave belongs to James W. Cretillo. Born September 4th, 1946. He passed away January 30th, 2011. And the rain is beginning to fall. Music man. Picture of him. And the uh, rain's starting to fall. This is the resting place of one Deborah M. Conley. She was born March 15, 1911. Passed away September 26, 2006. And she for, forever in our hearts. And the rain is coming down. 
Rest in peace, Deborah. The rain continues. As I, there's another resting place. This belongs to Gerard, Gerard D. Dalton. A guitar and a car gets into his headstone. He was born on September 28, 1946. He passed away August 21st, 2007. Beloved son, boyfriend, and uncle. And the rain is starting to fall. Rest in peace, Gerald. This is the final resting place of Amy M. Gray, born on November 8th, 1977. She passed away on November 24th, 2005. She was beloved mom of Vina, Kaylee, Austin, Christian. I'll be waiting for you. In heaven. Rest in peace, Amy. Rest in peace. This is a resting place for Kimberly Ray Chaplin, born October 5th, 1958. She passed away January 4th, 2010. She will forever be in our hearts. Nice. Here no evil, I guess. She goes by the name Kimbo. Rest in peace, Kimberly. Rest in peace. This is the grave of James L. Graves, born November 18th, 1943. He passed away on September 8th, 2019. On the back, it's a poem. It says, from the tree of life, each leaf must fall. The green, the gold, the great, the small. Each one in God's own time, he'll call. With perfect love, he gathers all. This old headstone belongs to Nancy. She's the wife of William Harper. She died on November 29th, 1848. Her age, 38 years old, 20 days, and 12 months. Rest in peace, Nancy. Rest in peace. This is the grave of Ron. G. Moore, born 1961, passed away in 1988. He says, I'm not here. I'm in the woods near a stream full of fish. Please visit me there. And the son of Russ and Leah Class. This is the final resting place of Phyllis M. McCoy. May 3rd, 1933, she passed away August 31st, 2003. On the back of her headstone reads, Beloved Mother, sleep on sweet mother, and take me, take thy rest. God called a home, he thought it best. This is the grave of John Jack Dunhoff, husband and dad. Born September 23rd, 1923, he passed away on December 1st, 2013. It says, once a Marine, always a Marine, and that is true. So rest in peace, Jack. Super Fi, and I also have a flag. So rest in peace, Jack. Rest in peace, Jack. Rest in peace. Well, this is the grave. Resting place of George Terry Lee Russ. Born November 28th, 1981. Passed away on April 6th, 2019. A bunch of trinkets. Let's see him on his motorcycle. Driving through a mountain pass. This is the resting place of a loving grandmother, mother, and sister, Linda Spa Elston. She was born October 11, 1947, and she passed away October 27, 2015. Rest in peace, Linda. Rest in peace. All right. These are some old headstones over here. This is the William Ayler Cemetery. Uh, 
There's 12 identified individuals, 18 unidentified individuals moved from CBD Airport property north side of Arrow Parkway. UTM 16S70 East 423021S. There's all the names of the individuals that said we moved from Arrow Park, which they built that road on one side of the airport. And they've been moved over here. There's also more in the back. Uh, this one's Barlow Airport Cemetery. Nine unidentified individuals moved from CBG Airport property north side of Arrow Parkway, opposite of where we just read that one pit monument. And this is Pawthon 2 Cemetery. 15 unidentified individuals moved from CBG Airport property south side of South Service Road. Yeah, it's on the south side of the airport. And these are all the dedications, I guess. Well, I'm really unidentified because their cemeteries are really, really old. And there's a quick visit to this small forgotten area. And I know a lot of viewers don't like to watch all this, but I find it fascinating. All these older monuments that have broken over and fallen, fallen to the ground, so sad to see but sometimes it's way it is there's something else over here this is uh alicia and julie rouse family graveyard moved from Limeburg road boone county march 2020 these are all the names elijah rouse julie rouse george rouse and four others unknown i don't know if this is them or not Fascinating cemeteries here. Fascinating gravestone. There's one up against the tree over there. This is the resting place of daughter, granddaughter, sister, and friend. Her name is Danica McKenzie, or Danny McNichol. Remember me this way. Remember me this way. Nothing gold can stay. Nature's first green is gold, her hardest hue to hold. Her early leaves a flower, but only so a hour. The leaves subside to leaf, so Eden sank to grief. So dawn goes down today, nothing gold will stay. Robert Frost. Uh, Annika was born March 23rd, 1999. Unfortunately, she passed away December 8th. 2016. Rest in peace, Anakin. Danny Mac. Rest in peace. Here lies Elizabeth and James Sitchi. Elizabeth, born December 2nd, 1944. She passed away September 19th, 2011. This is Take Me to Jim. James, born April 12th, 1953. Passed away September 19th, 2015. Okay, Lizzie. The mirror on their headstone is pretty beautiful. I guess it's them camping upstairs. On the back, it says, Dear Lizzie, God saw you were getting tired and the cure was not to be. So he put his arms around you and whispered, Come to me. With tearful eyes, we watched you suffer fade away. Although we loved you and dearly, we could not make you stay. A golden heart stopped beating hard, working hands at rest. God broke our hearts to prove to us he only takes the best. With all of your hearts, we will always love you, Dan. Cherish you forever. Love, Jim and family. Now, this is a very unique headstone, which there's no death years or birth years it's david w and roseanne r yord and hogan said two peas in the pod together forever this is the final resting place of derek agars sunrise 8th april 1968 sunset 21st november 2006 
Chef and Rue mean Glockner, Sean and Wiser Front. The final resting place for Charles A. and Irene. Charles born October 1st, 1927, passed away September 18th, 2022. Irene F. August 7th, 1929. She passed away December 23rd, 2007. Last name was Patrick. Both fled July 10th, 2nd, 1949. And on the back. I am not far. I am quite near. Whisper softly and I will hear. This is the resting place for Ashley Opal McIntosh. Born June, uh, June 25th, 1991. She passed away on November 30th, 2019. Loving daughter, sister, aunt, niece, and cousin. You will always be my baby girl. Love her mom. And on the other side, the poem. If I must go and die at 28, then at least I know I died a legend. Now we roll and ride like we're together and keep the vibe alive inside forever and feel me forever. M.G.K. Final rest place for Lloyd C. Spence, Lance Corporal, U.S. Marine Corps, Vietnam. May 21st, 1945, passed away on November 30th, 2015. And he's married to Janice, who is still with us today. And even Golden Anchor says it all. He was a dad. Bought trinkets and flowers. Like all the Marines I had come to see in the cemetery. I was still him a flag. And say Semper Fi, Lance Corporal Lloyd. Semper Fi, Lance Corporal Spence. Semper Fi. This is the final resting place for another U.S. Marine, former Marine, James L. Webb, Sergeant U.S. Marine Corps, Korea, March 7, 1931. That's way April 9, 2008. Korean War vet. He has a flag waving right here. His wife, Dorothy, is still with us. He went by the nickname Buddy. So I'm going to bestow another flag with him and put beside the Marine Corps flag. I'll say Semper Fi, Sergeant Barty. I'll say Semper Fi, Sergeant Buddy. Semper Fi, Sergeant Buddy. This is the final resting place for Milton Raymond Mounts. On February 22nd, 1930, he passed away on February 11th, 2021. And on the back of the headstone is him, True Country. Behind Lloyd is another Marine, Gerald W. Spence, Sergeant U.S. Marine Corps, Vietnam, April 3rd, 1946 to February 6th, 2021. Like him, I would trace it up to the flag. Marine Corps emblem. Paul Paul, Gerald W. And I also have a flag for him. He's still on him. American flag. So Semper Fi, Sergeant Spence. Semper Fi. This is the resting place for Donald Wayne North. And get all that off of there. I know they're just birds. Uh, he was born December 10th, 1951, passed away on January 22nd, 2017. And till we meet again, beloved son, brother, uncle, and friend. He was the son of the American Legion. Calvin M. Ward, in loving memory, May 23rd, 2005, July 16th, 2021. Your love will be our light. And some nice red roses. And on the back, it says, have hope. 
Uh, this stone belongs to Zan Abraham Kettitz, born November 30th, 1989. He passed away October 17th, 2008. Description reads, I'll break our hearts to lose you. But you didn't go alone, for part of us went with you the day God called you home. There's the Star of David up top. And at the bottom is a Christian cross. I guess their family was a blended religious type family. to the men and women who served their country in time of war and peace. This is the Garden of the Veterans Memorial. Okay, thank you for joining me on this latest Graveyard Traveler video. Rest our, I want to make everybody here rest in peace, even the ones that I didn't get to film. And I'll end it here at the Veterans Memorial Garden. Here, Hebron's Cemetery called Hebron Lutheran Cemetery. So thank you for subscribing. Thank you for liking. And I'll see you on the next cemetery tour. And do take care of yourself. Take care of your loved ones. And I'll see you next.